Hey friends, it's Mike here at Guitar Tricks, back with another lick of the day. This one's got a country flavor to it. This is a cool little chicken picking lick that is a little bit tricky. It's got some tricky techniques going on, but once you get it under your fingers, uh, it'll provide lots of creativity and unlock a whole bunch of doors to some cool sounds. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, hit that like button. It would really help out. Now, back to the lesson. So I'm going to play this particular lick over a C7 chord, C dominant seventh. So this is uh, the choice of notes here works really well over any dominant chord that you're playing over. Uh, so I'm going to start off just with the shape of, there's a little descending lick that, uh, that has the sh same shape three times as it descends down the fretboard. So the first one looks like this. Okay. So going to use some hybrid picking. So I'm holding my pick between my thumb and my uh, index finger, and I'm going to use one of my free fingers to add some plucking to the top string. So I'm using the pick on the B string 11th fret, and it's a full step bend up. So we're on a B flat note, bending up to the C note. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the 12th fret of the high string and pluck it with one of my fingers. And the chicken picking sound is kind of just a pluck and give it a little bit of attack and a snap. Kind of like that. And then I'm gonna go back and pick, I'm gonna hold that bend up and pick back on the B string again, but I'm gonna try and make that staccato and sort of add to the snap of that chicken picking sound. Kind of like that. Right after that, I'm gonna pluck on the 10th fret of the high string. And then I'm going to pick the bend coming down on the B string. That's the sound you're going for there. Give it that kind of clucky kind of chicken picking sound. Okay. Now in order to cut off that note in the middle that I'm picking, you got to have your hand kind of way down the strings a little bit so that I'm using this part of my palm to kind of get in there and just sort of mute that note wherever I want to, uh, you know, cut it off. Kind of like that a little bit, all right? So it's a little bit tricky, but just go slow with it at first. Okay. Once you get it, now the next part of the lick is gonna come down and you're gonna use your ring finger on the 10th fret of the B string and just bend it up a half step. It's the exact same picking pattern here, adding the 10th fret and the 8th fret of the high string. Okay, and then bringing that bend back down. Okay, now down two frets, I'm still gonna use my ring finger, but this time it's a full step bend on the 8th fret of the B string. And then I'm grabbing the 8th and then 6th fret of the high string. Okay, so putting those together. going to end it off by going to some triads and in this case going to the five chord triad uh, when you're playing uh, with C7 as the one chord the five chord would be a G chord so I'm grabbing the seventh fret of the G eighth fret of the B seventh fret of the high E string with two picks strumming the whole chord and then putting down the eighth fret of the B and high E string but then bending the seventh fret of the G string and that's gonna bend up to a D major triad. Okay, you could add a little bit of vibrato at the end. So putting that together. Okay, so it's really cool. It kind of goes to that five chord just to set up coming home to that one chord and finishing off the lick. So putting the whole thing together sounds like this. All right, as always, you're gonna to wanna to try out this lick in all sorts of different keys, experiment with the notes, try to come up with something a little bit different and creative. Hope you have fun with it. We'll see you on the next one. What other tips would you like to see here on this channel? Please leave a comment and let me know. And be sure to check out guitartricks.com for more in-depth, step-by-step lessons.